Hi guys! I got a couple of requests on how to make a PDF file uh, because I think they're by now, you know, I've been on YouTube for like since 2012 so by now there are some people that making their own designs and they would like to know how to make a PDF file and I'm just going to show you my way because I don't do any fancy graphic coral draw kind of uh, tutorial so I'm gonna keep it simple I do that with pictures I make my PDF file with pictures and I would like to show you how to do that um, basic standards and I'm gonna turn you down now onto my beating pad okay first of all you need of course a design to start with. Now I just made this uh, bangle bracelet it's kind of flexible uh, you probably recognize it it's the a netted bracelet but I have been getting questions on how to do this and connect the two sides so you get a bangle. It looks really pretty when you put it on so um, it's not disturbing at all the fact that it's not that uh, uh, stiff and it rolls on very easy on the on the skin so all you have to do is kind of roll it on there we go and off. So I'm going to be putting this in a PDF file and I'm going to show you how I made it. Now, very important, you need uh, a camera of some sort, and I always use my phone. I got two phones here. Uh, one is a Samsung, and one is my Nokia N8, and this one is the one that I use for my photos. Why? Because the Nokia N8... Let me turn, put on my glasses so I can see what I'm actually doing. The Nokia N8... Turn that off for a second. The Nokia N8 has a Carl Zeiss uh, camera in there and with the Nokia N8 I can change with my camera to micro and micro is the way you take your pictures on uh, uh, the, the camera here so I also like to add some white balance which I put on sunny because I got daylight lamps and then I take my picture now the for first picture will show that let me get you closer oh. the first picture will always show that um, that red area around it that like it's not sharp so I will just delete that image and just kind of play around with the uh, zoomer until I get it right and then I put my uh, daylight lamps back on there so now I got a good picture everything went green and that's I just take my next picture now let me show you because not everybody has a Nokia how that looks when you just do it with a Samsung so now I got the two cameras together and you can see that this is not as colorful as to this is very colorful uh, it gives a more more uh, bluish kind of color to it even though my pad when I move that over you can see my pad is kind of grayish bluish but this will uh, color it up really nice when I put it too sunny uh, and I can't choose micro here so uh, it, um, I also miss like the sparkle in there that's in here can you see this uh, the, the it looks much more lively so you can do two two things you can use this camera because in all honesty these two look a lot alike in colors these are basically more true colors than uh, what I did with my with my uh, Nokia but I like the lively colors so you can take a regular camera and just take a regular camera set it up and take pictures like I got my camera right here in front of me all you have to do is beat and then just push the button uh, as long as you know that the setting is right so the micro setting for this uh, so the if you use a regular camera you need it put it on micro settings and let me show you that again which uh, setting that is that that's the automatic and then when you turn the automatic you got the close-up right there that's that little flower right there and if you got the option or if you have a Nokia click on the white balance and put it to sunny now if you want lively colors on this it is possible but you would have to have a program and that means that you have to adjust all your pictures and make it more lively put a little bit more blue in there maybe a little bit more red but to keep it easy you can use this and um, it will work fine. 
Very important, I have daylight lamps. Right now it's dark outside, it's dark in my room. I have daylight lamps. But if you don't have daylight lamps and you cannot invest in this, because I had to do a lot of tutorials before I could buy these, let me tell you that. Uh, just use the sun, okay? Or the, or, the, or the window. You don't even have to use the sun. It's better not to actually have sun. Put a table in front of a window and beat on there while you take your pictures. Um, don't do it when the, the sunlight shines directly into your re room on your table because you don't want sunlight on your pad. So if you got sun shining into your window, and let me show you that. I got some cardboard here blocking the sun when I work in the daytime because that sun shines right in. So that's basically all you have to know about taking the pictures and now I'm going to show you how to make the PDF file when you have the pictures done. Of course you got to transfer the pictures from the phone onto the computer first. Okay so what you do next is you're gonna pick up uh, your Nokia phone, you're gonna get your pictures off and it works very easily. You can just get organize, select all, right, right mouse click, and you just cut them off and you put them in a folder where you want them. So I got my special PDF files here, 2017. Need to make a new folder, right click, folder, open it up, and then just right click and paste all the pictures on there then I want to see the large icons I got some of them turn around so I right click on them and then I rotate them counterclockwise and you can do three at the same time rotate counterclockwise. Rotate counterclockwise and rotate counterclockwise. Now this one is a sample so I'm going to delete that. I'm also going to delete that. Because that was a picture I used for Facebook to show them that I was all done. Now we're first going to go through the pictures one by one in case you deleted any or weren't able to delete any and just going to see if everything is correct. You will know your pattern so if you make two of the same pictures you will uh, quickly notice it. So that goes in there and double knot and in there and then and finish it off. Yeah, I got all the pictures I don't have anything extra. So then you select them all by just pulling your mouse or you can just organize and select all again. And you're going to stand on the first one and you're going to give it a name. You're going to go a rename and I'm going to go call it Bangle. And if you call that Bangle, you will see that it will number itself. So I got 35 pictures for this PDF file. Okay, now we need to do one more thing. We need to resize them. So I'm going to select them all again and I click on my right mouse. And not everybody will have this, but I will show you where to get this. It's uh, free. And it says here, resize pictures. And I'm clicking on that. And then something will pop up. My computer is very old, so it's not very fast. And I got my uh, resize pictures already set to 1000 uh, pixels. So I'm going to go resize. And then it's going to resize all the pictures at once. Okay, and then we're going to start up with a Word document. And uh, I already got some pre worked, so I'm gonna just get one of the uh, pre worked documents. I'm gonna copy this one. This is my basic PDF files 2017. Oh, it's here too, right here. Copy. This is my new folder and that is, I'm going to rename that right away. That's my second PDF file this year, so it's number two, and go Bangle. I'll probably give it a, another name. Netted Bangle, it's probably better. So I'm going to put my P, 
my Word document in there. And then you can see how I set up my Word document. Okay, so this is my basic uh, Word document set up with picture 1, picture 2, picture 3, picture 4, and then here's the picture, here is where the pictures go. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to add the pictures. Of course, we need to still change this. Bango. Oh. And uh, netting. That's what we're doing. And then we need to add our material list. Not for, Don't forget that. I always leave that for the last. We also have to put in a picture of uh, a finished product product but I haven't done that yet so I will do that later and then I always add the P1 P1 that's right here it stands for picture 1 P2 for picture 2 etc okay and I'm gonna go behind my one so just you can set that up go behind my one I'm gonna click here on insert picture and then I'm gonna look up my folder and once you got it, you don't have to do this again, because it will automatically pick up the pictures from the folder. Uh, my bangle, and I'm going to put in my first picture, which is very big. Now, there is a way to um, cut these, but I have to look that up, because I already got the crop uh, tool right here. I saved that because it was so hard to find, so let's go see if I can find it. There is my crop tool. It's got to be somewhere here. See, I don't want to be having to do this every time I make a PDF file, so I save my crop file to my shortcuts right here. Format. And there it is. There's your crop tool. Now, if you right-click that, you can customize quick access toolbar. So, that will put it right there. Okay, so you don't have to look for it every time. Now, you're going to take your crop tool and you're just going to crop that down. So like that. And we got the um, page now on 100%. You can easily see that when you have a PDF file. It will make it bigger, but you want to try and get like maybe four or five pictures on the same uh, on the same row. Okay, so and then you're gonna do that again. Insert. You're gonna insert number two. Crop that again. And now you can see that this one is a little bigger than this one. So what I do is I'll pull that up right there. And then you can just pull that up with your mouse. On uh, if you click on it, it's uh, adjustable. Just like everywhere on all sides. So, this is number two, enters number three, and this is the double knot, so I'm not going to uh, do anything with that, I'm just going to do that on the sides a little bit, like that, and then I'm just going to pull that down, so that picture will become smaller, and then I'm going to put in picture four, picture four, and then we're going to do that also we're just cropping that from the sides basically and that's a little smaller so we can make that bigger now you still have some room left right here so what I'll do is I like to use up all that space so the bigger the picture the better it looks uh, and easier to see like that. okay sometimes when I do this I'll go a little bit out of the uh, frame see if you do this it will automatically put it back on that side But if you don't want that then you can always say like okay Well, if I can crop here a little bit more from this side and I can crop a little bit more from that side And that will automatically put it back Okay, what we're not gonna do I'm gonna just return that and it was fine the way it was so I'm not gonna put in picture five and you're gonna just put all your pictures in just like that Okay, when you are all done adding your pictures, you need to add your text and I want to show you how to make uh, lines and arrows on your pictures. 
Now if you have a real camera then you probably have some sort of photoshopping um, software to go with that. Uh, but if you don't, this is I will show you how that works. So first you go to start, then you go to all programs, go to accessories and go to paint. Then you just open your files and pick your take your picture out and then you can either take a, a, a draw a straight line in paint it is uh, important that when you see the little uh, white dots on there you can see little white dots on there uh, that you move out of that area and just click else that line will move let me show you that. See, if I don't move out of that area, that line will move. So, for a circle, for instance, you can use the pencil and you can choose the size. And if you want the size, you just go around like that. If you need a color, then you just pick the color and you go around like that. And just say like, oh, I gotta go that way. And the beauty of this program is it actually has arrows when you need to go in there. And um, I don't know if you can fill that up. Here's a bucket though. Let's see. Nah, that doesn't really work. But um, it's a way. If you don't have anything else, it's a way. So you can still get to work. Okay, that's said. Now we're going to make the pictures uh, all the same size. Um, I'm mostly I'm looking at the pictures. This this one is, for instance, a little bigger. You can do it, make it a little smaller. Um, and I pick out one that I think um, that will not make one of the pictures uh, go off the line. So I will pick this one. I go to Format Picture. I go to Size. Uh, make sure that your uh, aspect ratio is locked and uh, that everything is relative to the original picture size okay and then we're going to work with the height only so we're gonna double click that and we're gonna uh, right click for copy and then we're gonna say this one format picture size and by, uh, at the absolute of the height we're gonna make that the same height so that went from 288 to 886 uh, and I did that with the right mouse click and then paste okay now that's the same size and you will see it uh, change in size and everything will be the same size on height and now let's hope that nothing gets pushed off that line if that does then again just go a little bit and just take take a little bit back like that Okay, and then you do the same with these. I just and you have to do them all by one by one, and that's very annoying. I wish I uh, there was a way to um, already take care of that. Oh, these are all the same size. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, I wish there was a way to just kind of grab them all, you know, on one line, and then just format them all but I haven't figured out how to do that or if that is even possible so we're just going to grab these now that's already 3.2 and then this one needs to go smaller and there we go and you can just see it flip up maybe we can put that in the next and then you don't have so much more. also this is I think this is important so that you number the pages for people that buy your patterns um, so uh, that they don't don't get mixed up, especially not if you have like ten pages. So formatting pictures, and that's all there is to it. And you're gonna do this all the way until you've done your last one. I think I'm gonna go with this size.
magnet puts it right back in there. Okay, I find this picture to be a little bit too dark, so I do have a Photoshop, uh, a PaintShop Pro program. So I'm going to make that a little lighter and I'll show you how to do that too. File, open, C, YouTube, PDF files, 2017, Bengal, and that's the last picture. And when you have your program, your, um, then you should have this, um, the colors. You can adjust brightness and contrast and just make it a little brighter. You can leave the contrast down a little bit. And to make that, well, maybe a little bit of contrast. There. And then you save your picture. And then you're going to take that one out and put a new one in there that is a little lighter. And you're just going to work that again like that and if all's correct you can still format your picture and paste that size so there you're all done now when you got your um, pages numbered also make sure that you add the C the copyright and you can find that copyright with um, where was that see I always copy and paste it um, but you should be able to insert the symbol right here. There we go. Insert the symbol and that's on insert symbol. So you can just insert the symbol and you're done. And then uh, write your name down. Don't forget that. So um, that was that for the Word document. Now we save it. We're going to uh, throw that out and then there's a program called LibreOffice and we're gonna start that up and I'll also have the link for you underneath the video that's also a free program okay I got some old files in there and uh, just in case you're wondering why you're not just converting to PDF from your Word document is because it sucks the quality sucks so this is way better quality. I'm going to go into my PDF files, 2017, my bangle, and I'm going to pick up my Word document. Okay, I have added my uh, material list, and I noticed I forgot to add my picture. Okay, I need to explain that one too. So, this is going to go close for now, and I, we're going to go make the picture. I'm going to delete that, and we're going to uh, go to the other side again. Now, as you can see, I have a little photo studio, but if you don't have that, just take a white piece of paper outside, you know, the printing paper, just take it outside and uh, find a nice spot to put the um, item down and uh, make some pictures outside during daytime so that works perfectly fine also so um, that wraps that up now the next part we're going to go to the PDF file okay so now we're going to make that PDF file and we're going to do that by opening LibreOffice you can uh, this is by the way a free tool so I'll leave the link for that underneath the video you can turn your Word document into a PDF file, but the quality loss is just uh, horrendous, so I'm going to do it this way. Uh, open file, pick up that basic uh, Word document that we used and open it. And here we have the Word document. 
Now I'm going to check if there's anything there that still needs to be adjusted and we'll show you with uh, red lines uh, if there's any grammar flaws in there and you can just correct it and the thing I love about LibreOffice is also it will show you if you get like one space too many between the pictures and then it will just go away and here's another any more I always thought that was one word okay so this document is right now and I'm going to save it as an ODT just in case anything needs to be changed later and that's uh, save as and then we're going to go the ODT file I said right here the extension and we're going to just rename that into Bengal uh, netting Bengal how's that save that and this will let me turn that off I got to turn that off and turn that off and show you what will happen when you open that file YouTube PDF file 2017 Bengal here's your ODT file and you can open that and that will automatically open up in LibreOffice so from here out we're going to turn it into a PDF file file export as PDF I got GPG compression about 60% with 150 dpi uh, you can even sign with a, a, a watermark so that's uh, also pretty cool but um, I don't do that so I'm going to export this and I'll keep that same name right here and I'll save it and then it's going to export as PDF and you can sh see that right here on the bottom and it takes a while I got a slow computer and here we have the PDF file it will pop up automatically put that to 100% and this is what it looks like and it's really good quality and uh, with the, the good thing about the PDF file is that even if people can't see very well then they can always change the size to it and it will still be uh, good quality so there's the PDF file and what we do next is we're going to close that all off throw that out this is the one that goes on Etsy so what you're going to do now is you're going to just go to Etsy and open a shop and then everything is pretty uh, uh, pretty easy from there on out okay um, under your shop you can add a listing and then um, you know everything is just self-explanatory add your picture add your listing details um, add your price your quantity it's a digital uh, file so that you will have to change that and uh, you can choose if you want the renewal to be um, uh, done automatically so you don't have to renew every time they ask for you you upload your file, that's your dig digital file, your text, your materials, uh, you add your occasions, you know, what kind of vacation it is, what style it is, and um, well, that's basically it. I don't pretty much, uh, I put this on, on uh, um, women right here, so uh, that's pretty much it, and then you publish, and there it is, it will be on Etsy. So that's basically how Etsy works. Um, I hope you will follow my link if you want to open the shop. The, you will get 40 free listings uh, and you will be supporting me also with 40 uh, free listings if you follow through uh, my um, my Etsy link well that's about it guys I hope uh, that was easy enough and uh, for those of you who started uh, to design I suggest you give it a try if uh, you got 40 free listings so if you don't sell your patterns you don't have to pay any fees 
and uh, when you pay your uh, when you do uh, sell something, then it's going to cost you about 3.5% and some fee on pay PayPal uh, the same on the 3.5% uh, on what you sold. So that listing fee is free. Okay, well I hope to see you guys next time and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm back to beating now. Bye!